The Mediterranean Sea is the subject of one of the greatest mysteries on Earth. But what do we know about the sea that surrounds us, which on a global scale is only a small body of water that makes up less than 1% of the world's total water surface? Let's go back in time and discover together the origins of the Mediterranean Sea. Take a hard-boiled egg and crack its shell. Does the egg remind you of anything? The Earth, perhaps? The thin shell represents the Earth's crust, divided into plates. Within the shell is the firm but slippery mantle. Around 165 million years ago, continuous movements of the Earth's mantle led to the formation of huge continental blocks, separated from one another by a single ocean, the Tethys Sea. It was an enormous warm sea with characteristics similar to those of tropical waters. With the slow drift of the continents, the blocks of Africa and Eurasia converged by moving towards each other and colliding. The initial point of contact occurred between the Iberian Peninsula and the northern coast of West Africa. The primeval Mediterranean thus started to take shape. Points of communication on the eastern and Pacific sides became fewer and fewer until eventual complete breakaway, caused by the counterclockwise rotation of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula, which then became joined to Eurasia. Africa and the small Mediterranean plates, namely the Iberian, Adriatic, Aegean, Turkish and Arabic, began to move towards Europe, lifting it up and creating the long series of mountain chains which still stretches across southern Europe, from the Pyrenees between France and Spain to the Alps, forming a perfect barrier around the Mediterranean, which protects us from the cold of the north. They carry on to join the heights of Asia Minor until at last they reach the Himalayas. Some six to ten million years ago, the Mediterranean underwent the greatest and most radical of changes which was to be responsible for its transformation into the phenomenal sea it is today. During its evolution, the Mediterranean Sea was isolated due to the convergence of the continental blocks which eventually cut off the Mediterranean basin from the Atlantic Ocean. Having become a practically closed sea, its survival depended then, as now, solely on the equilibrium between river input, rain, evaporation and the existence of a contact no longer there with the Atlantic Ocean. As a result, huge natural lakes were formed and slowly turned into gigantic salt-encrusted flats, as can be seen on the animation. The prolonged isolation of the Mediterranean brought about nearly a total disappearance of life forms and enormous salt layers which reached the thickness of around 2,000 meters. The animation that follows, when compared with the previous one, accentuates the effects of an almost total absence of water in the Mediterranean. Our sea was then reborn by a massive wall of cascading Atlantic water. This came about by the collapse or further sinking of the Gibraltar threshold caused by an earthquake some five and a half million years ago. This mass of water, estimated by scientists to be 1,000 times greater than the Niagara Falls, began to pour inwards. It took thousands of years and the lowering of the oceanic sea level to fill the Mediterranean. Since then it has been a temperate body of water that has intensified its connection with the Atlantic, which continues to provide it with water.
The animation shows how the gushing water first filled the western basins, and then, once past the ridges across the Sicilian Channel, flowed on into the eastern basins. We will now show you a simplified animation of the Mediterranean's floor, which stretches from Gibraltar through the Sicilian Channel to the Levantine Basin, followed by a graphic illustration of the Mediterranean as we know it today, with its familiar boundaries, islands and straits. The rapid geographical, climatic and geological changes which are noticeable across the Mediterranean and the extensive variety of seabed topography makes it possible to divide the basin into distinct units which can be considered semi-sealed. The western region included the Alborian Sea and the Balearic of Algerian Provençal Basin. Corsica, Italy and Sicily mark the perimeter of the Tyrrhenian Basin, which is separated in turn from the Adriatic Sea by the Apennine mountain chain. The Ionian, Aegean and the Levant Seas, cut off by the deep trenches and archipelagos make up the eastern Mediterranean.